I'm Dr. Arash Jawanbakht. I'm a psychiatrist and I research neurobiology of trauma and anxiety disorders. A lot of uh, anxiety disorders, specifically when it comes to the realm of phobia, OCD, post-traumatic stress disorder, uh, the problem is that the person is afraid of a situation or object or an encounter that is terrifying to them. Only through exposure to the feared object, graduate exposure, that the associative learning of safety happens in the brain and the person feels comfortable with those objects. With the use of augmented reality, we can bring all these objects or situations that people are afraid of to real life context. So this app basically connects uh, a therapist's computer to the HoloLens device, which is worn by the patient. The HoloLens device maps all the surfaces surrounding the patient. And then I can from a drop down menu easily choose the feared object, let's say spider. I can choose the type of spider, I can choose the color, I can choose how big they are, which direction they're looking at, and place them anywhere in the environment. And I can have the spiders move in any direction at any speed I want. Show it to me where it is. Yeah? Yeah. Like here? Yeah. Okay. Then you can try to touch it. Yeah? Also, okay. So all the 14 people that we have treated in this clinical trial responded in less than uh, one hour, average response time 38 minutes, which is a big advantage over conventional ways of uh, therapy or even VR studies that I've uh, looked at. Crosscom did not just look at this as a project that, okay, they're gonna charge and do something that we may or may, may not find helpful when talking to Crosscom, they always wanted to make sure this is something that is going to work. Don, the Crosscom CEO, was like a colleague in my lab, team partner. And that was very heartwarming and that was very helpful in being able to trust each other. It was very collaborative between the clinical side and between the tech side. We would understand each other, understand each other's limitations and needs. And uh, I think that is one reason that we ended up with a solid uh, uh, ground on which we could establish the first part of this project, which was extremely successful.